the mind from the start convinces us like a naive, like grow this love with this person, knowing that it's going to be a quick harvest, you know, like get them to fall in love, let them generate love, let them fill their glass. Once their glass is full, let's cut it. And they do that by the perception of the mind. Then the mind eventually starts to think, oh, this person isn't good for me. This person is starts to make ourselves believe that this person isn't good for me. It's the power of the mind. The mind doesn't belong to us. The mind is a programmed agenda, which we are all having within our perception of reality. The heart, on the other hand, and the energy which belongs to our true identity is the infinite awareness which flows through the heart chakra or the heart um, vortex. And this infinite awareness, it doesn't give a shit. It will love someone no matter what. And it will support someone no matter what. So as long as one person can always be connected to this infinite awareness, this infinite love, this infinite acceptance, that it can never shut down its love factory. And although the other person can shut down theirs, if the person who is truly loving someone infinitely continues to support and love that person no matter what that person does eventually that person's love will never get um, harvested they might give it away they might give their love away to other people that they've once grown that they filled their glass up with and they might give it away but it will never be harvested this is the true power of unconditional love because unconditional love will always maintain its sense of structure, its sense of strength, it's, and that will always be shared within that other person because it's the unity of, of divine conjunction within the two um, uh, physical forms of, of, um, of um, uh, life or... It's tough to explain that one. Yeah, when divine love loves... loves within the uh, origin of two um, awarenesses, even if that other awareness becomes weak and sick, as long as one person is staying true to the divine love, that that person will always stay protected, even if they give up all their love, and even if no matter what they do. That's the true power of uh, unconditional love. And as long as someone continues to continue loving, they will always be loved. There is a catch with this. There is no catch, but there is truth. If someone can truly take over the unconditional love for that person, that person will be uh, ignited within the, uh, the chance to act as a, a giver of unconditional love again. So it's not like someone will be, um, you know, always loving someone who is toxic or someone who is you know, um, selfish or because, you know, some people can just fall back into the mental program of the agenda of the world and go and be toxic and be hard and, and someone's left loving them forever in an unconditional state. Well, there is a lot to it. If someone can take over the responsibility of loving them unconditionally, then the love that you've grown will always be transferred. It will never be harvested because if we can look from a quantum position, the mentality of this world today, it's being programmed by an agenda which harvests love and submisses people in fear, stress and anxiety. And it's harvesting love. It's using our light force as a fuel source to, um, to feed off on a quantum um, um, projection of our own reality. Is that whoever's controlling, whoever's feeding off of us, this energy force, this, this entity harvests our love. Because we are divine light connected within the um, existence of, of love. Love is light, light is love. And when we are uniting in love, the minds act as a, like a, a harvest machine which generate enough um, uh, persuasion to give it up. It's like we, har we grow this love, we harvest we manifest this love it's so pure and beautiful and and it, we feel like we're such connected to something greater than ourselves when we're loving unconditionally and our minds start to build around it until we get to the point where it sinks us and feels like we have to give it up <laughs> it's fucked up this world is truly fucked up and we we're convinced that it's for the good but why didn't we think of that at the start of a relationship because 